My name is Charlie Grace and I'm from 3D Systems. I'm the Chief Revenue Officer. Well, what we're talking about is 30 years of innovation. We've got a lot going on inside of our stand uh, and it's not just about the printer. It's about our entire workflow and ecosystem that starts with a file, you know, whether it's a scanned image or a file, and it goes through our software, and yes, we print it out, and we have great materials and, and software and, and services that go along with that. The move into production is very exciting for us, and what we're seeing is that, again, it's not just about the printer, it's actually about integrating into an automated workflow. That integration is actually one of the things that we're looking forward to doing more and more so whether it's metals, whether it's plastics, it really doesn't matter to us. And what's really critical is the integration into the, uh, uh, into the processes that our customers have. And it's not, again, about the printer. It's about the entire end-to-end uh, -end solution that we have to offer. And a great example is one of our customers does 175,000 unique pieces every day on their 3D systems products. And it integrates automatically right into their, uh, into their system. So we are actually a part of their, an integral part of their solution. It's, uh, it's pretty neat to see that happening. And inside of the show floor, we've got 20 partners that are demonstrating and talking about 3D Systems products and working with all the folks that are coming through, excited with new ideas that they're looking to find solutions for. So one of my great uh, partners that we have here is Third Dimension, Bob Markley. He's doing some great things with metals. I'm Bob Markley. I'm the owner of Third Dimension Industrial 3D Printing based out of Indianapolis. We are a metals service bureau uh, using exclusively 3D systems equipment. All metals, that's all we do. My route to 3D printing additive manufacturing was a little bit uh, circuitous. I actually spent my first 10 years in my early career as an IndyCar engineer. Uh, so traveling country to country, racing cars. I really like the 3D systems technology. Uh, for me, having the open parameter set allows me to do a significant amount of material development, turn the knobs. Again, coming from that IndyCar background, we're never satisfied. We're always trying to improve. And that gives me the ability to do that. Uh, so we're able to adjust our parameters for various geometries. Uh, I also like the roller-based system. It allows me to use a finer powder, which gives me a better surface finish, uh, allows me to change how I support my structure and reduce some of my post-processing. As far as the educational piece is concerned, you know, I think our customers have great ideas and we partner with them and come up with a solution. So it's more than just the, the printer itself, it's more than the material, it's the actual solution itself. So, uh, we, so we work with our automa we work with automation and, and our partners in, inside of their processes. We love all the solutions that 3D Systems has to offer. Uh, with the metals, we're looking at very high precision parts. So we're not only using their printers, but we're using Geomagics to help verify that the parts that we're getting from the printers meet our customer specifications. We also do a lot of machining, and as projects are starting to come online, we're very interested in looking at the Gibbs Cam solution to run our CNCs. You know, we've got uh, 30 years of innovation and in working with these partners, and what we're finding is that we're able to actually work with partners to come up with unique things that, frankly, never have been thought of before. I'm unbelievably excited about the growth of metal printing. Uh, what we're starting to see is there's a lot of education that needs to occur, and just because you can make a part this way doesn't mean you should make a part this way. What I'm really excited for is this next generation of engineers coming out of university right now. They've been introduced to some of the other offerings, some of the, the consumer grade offerings, and grown up with this as a tool in their toolbox. And what they're coming up with and designing and developing is really changing the way we're facing, uh, we're looking at manufacturing and the parts that we can produce and really driving where the value of this technology lies. And that, that's what I'm so excited about.